Hey, good morning, uh, Colorado National Guard. It's Brigadier General Scott Sherman, the uh, Director of Joint Staff and the Commander of Joint Task Force Centennial. Hey, it's Thursday, uh, 16 April. The command message I'm talking about today is martial law. The hey, bottom line is uh, the state and nation have no intention of declaring martial law. There's been absolutely no discussion about using the military uh, to enforce a quarantine. Absolutely none. So really what I want to talk to you about today is uh, what we are doing in support of uh, COVID. Uh, as of today, we have 370 soldiers and airmen activated in, in support of uh, COVID. And a majority of those are on Title 32 502F orders. Now, if you don't know what those are, those are orders being paid uh, by the federal government. However, it puts, still puts us in a 32, Title 32 status and keeps us under control of the state and the governor. So first thing we're doing, of course, uh, Joint Task Force Centennial stood up, having personnel both at Joint Force Headquarters and working from home, providing command and control and maintain social distancing for a COVID response. Then uh, next one is Task Force Test Support. That was the first task force uh, that we set up uh, under state active duty where they did uh, COVID uh, testing across the state. Now they're on 502F orders, getting ready to provide uh, mobile testing capability in the state. And then uh, Task Force Unified uh, Coordination Center, that's uh, personnel that we have at the state's UCC, where they're helping the state staff out with increasing capacity and efficiency and helping out with all operations in the state. Then we have uh, Task Force Emergency Operations Center, what we have, we're helping out 10 counties, 10 remote counties within the state, providing uh, two personnel at each county to using their domestic operations expertise and, and really helping the counties operate during COVID. Then we have uh, Task Force Shelter Support. We have over 150 service members, both Army and Air, that are augmenting uh, civilian support staff at 13 homeless shelters uh, across the Denver metro area. And then last, we have uh, Task Force Convention Center, our newest task force. So we have uh, 75 personnel, 5 Air, 70 Army, that are down at the... Uh, Colorado Convention Center helping uh, the staff there set up an alternate care site. And they're really providing logistics and operations uh, expertise there to help get uh, that set up. So uh, just want to tell everybody or thank everybody uh, for what you're doing for our state and nation. Hope you are staying safe and your family staying safe. And thanks for what you're doing to help flatten the curve. Hope everybody stays safe. If you need anything from the Colorado National Guard, please uh, contact us. We're here to help you. And uh, just hope you have a great day and uh, we'll all get through this together. Thank you.